Many Pima County voters have already voted, including one Tucsonan who contacted us saying he followed all of the instructions and even dropped his ballot off this week in person. Then he soon found out something might not be right. News 4 Tucson's Eric Fink shares his story tonight. David Rankin thought he voted with no problems in this presidential election. That is until he got this text from the recorder's office saying his signature did not match up with what election officials had on file. They had an issue with the R on my signature and I was like, I mean, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking this is just a ballot signature. This is not a murder investigation. Like why? <laughs> Why is this such an issue? It's an issue, according to the Pima County Recorder's Office, for less than 2% of voters throughout the county. But this year, that could be thousands of voters who must cure their ballots. If a signature team member questions the validity of a signature, they'll hand that ballot to a supervisor. If the supervisor agrees, that ballot, like David's, goes to the problem ballot team. That team will reach out to those voters. A signature is a fairly arbitrary thing to be denying somebody's vote. We don't validate people's photo ID based on their hairstyle. Like, a signature could change with your mood. But election officials must make sure it's actually you who voted your ballot. They will call, text, and even in some cases, write a letter to those voters whose signatures don't match. And it doesn't mean your vote won't count. She basically just asked me some security questions and said, hey, did you sign this ballot? I said yes, and then they accepted it. So that part was fairly painless. I'm just thinking it's very difficult to get people out to vote in the first place, and this kind of just feels like another roadblock. David wants his experience to be a lesson for others. It was an issue that wasn't even on my radar. The recorder's office also says that after the election, these voters will get an updated registration form to be able to fill out with a new signature that the office will use for matching purposes in future elections. We've got you covered downtown. I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson.